Hey, thanks for joining us here on 9 News Plus. Just want to kind of get into some details about that chance for maybe a bit of snow as we get into the upcoming weekend, maybe even here in Denver. Don't get too excited. Uh, but the mountains, I think we're going to be looking at our first substantial snowfall of the season coming up Saturday night and Sunday. That will also be accompanied by high fire danger on Friday and Saturday and ahead of the system. So let's start things off by taking a look at what we know. So the first big mountain of snow, this would be for probably Saturday night and Sunday, maybe lingering into early Monday. High fire danger for much of southeast Colorado and much of eastern Colorado uh, on our Friday and especially Saturday at this point looks to be the point of highest fire danger for much of the eastern part of the state. And then a few Denver flakes are possible Monday morning. It will not be a big deal if we get anything here. So here's a look at the overall setup. We got an area low pressure, a big trough low pressure that's going to kick on in starting on Saturday night, but it's going to really move in place kind of in earnest uh, by Sunday. And that's when we could see that chance for much cooler temperatures as well as a lot of mountain snow in some cases and for us along the front range maybe a few flakes better chance to get on up into the palmer divide and the foothills but maybe a few flakes on monday morning again it will not be a big deal so with this setup in mind here's a look at what we could be like this one computer forecast model but i kind of think this is what we'll be likely looking at from the system um, on Sunday, primarily on Sunday, and then perhaps lingering into early Monday. Uh, some spots here into the higher elevation, especially you get above 9, 10,000 feet. That's where you would be looking at the possibility of up to a foot of snow. A widespread three to six inches of snow above 7,000, 7,500 feet uh, in elevation. The ski resorts, pretty widespread, six inches plus worth of snow. Great news for the mountains. This is going to be our first, again, significant snow of the season for the mountains. When we're talking about that, we're not talking about just a few a dusting or an inch of snow at the highest elevations. We're talking about, again, a fairly widespread snow event. And also worth noting that it does look like that travel on Sunday uh, is going to be messy in the mountains. This means, again, widespread snow down to the highways, I-70, Highway 40, um, 285, Monarch Pass, Highway 50. It, it's going to be tricky in the mountains this weekend. Here's another computer forecast model. This is a GFS. Uh, again, you see the same general theme, hardly anything along the eastern part of the state, but you get into the mountains and we're looking at a widespread in some cases, eight, nine inches plus, but we could be, uh, I think most cases will be somewhere between kind of three to six, four to eight inches worth of snowfall uh, for us here as we head over the next few days. But for us here in Denver, I've seen some buzz about the possibility for a bit of snow. This is why I would label it as Snapchat snow. A few flakes, we all get a little excited. Everybody whips out their phones, and that's it. That's pretty much all we're going to be looking at from the snow event for us here. Uh, Denver along the Front Range, um, below 6,000 feet, which is most of us. Again, you can get above 6,000 feet, and maybe, maybe looking at a dusting or um, perhaps an inch of snow as you get above 7,000 feet, but for most of us, again, not a big deal in terms of that snow. That said, we probably won't get measurable snowfall, which means a tenth of an inch or more of snow, and we're already a little overdue for our first measurable snow. Our average date would be back yesterday, Tuesday, October the 18th, and our latest first measurable snow on record was last year. You might remember that when we waited all the way until December the 10th for our first measurable snow. Now, one other thing to kind of watch out for on our seven day forecast, notice those temperatures early next week will be right around a freeze. Wouldn't be surprised if we get down upper 20s, low 30s, which means it's probably a good idea to blow out those sprinklers. Our average first freeze already way overdue for this. Uh, we're already a couple weeks, uh, we're gonna end up being a couple of weeks overdue for our first freeze. Our lowest temperature so far this year here in Denver, 35 at the airport. Central Park did drop down briefly to 32 degrees. Uh, downtown has only dropped down to 38 degrees. So most of us, we've not seen a proper freeze yet, but that could change early next week. I mentioned this with our previous storm. Probably the best thing to do is just to make sure the sprinklers are blown on out. Usually you need a bit longer you know, to, to really get those freeze issues. Um, you generally speaking need uh, a couple of hours, you know, three, four hours plus temperatures below 30 degrees to start seeing issues like that. I don't think we're going to be looking at that next week, but again, good idea just in case uh, to get those sprinklers blown out now rather than later. And this is, of course, normally the time of year we tend to do that. So hopefully it gives you a good idea about what to expect. Mountains, big snow, mainly on Sunday, 
um, perhaps some cases, six inches plus worth of snow. Good news for the ski resorts. Denver area, limited impacts and rain showers may be changing over to snow late Sunday night, early Monday. A few flakes at most for us, maybe a dusting if we get lucky, uh, but most of us, we will not see any measurable snowfall out of this, and temperatures get pretty chilly for us across Colorado for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. So again, hopefully it gives you a good idea about what to expect with next week's system.